So Luna here, it's been a long time. Today I have a special guest with me. Hello! So it's Nicole <laughs> again, because she's my only friend. Yes, I am her only friend and I feel honored to be her one and only friend. So, <laughs> let's ignore that. But today uh, we will be doing something different. We won't be drawing, we will be making a sketchbook. I will be making two, but you'll be making one for now because mm -hmm. yours is bigger. Yeah. And I'll be making like a smaller one, which is like this size. Yes. So we've done all the prep work already. She's done like her gluing, I've done my gluing, and then we are going to be starting with the building. So making the actual hard cover yeah. with yeah. the skin. And that's something also, we're not doing soft covers, we're doing hard covers, so mm -hmm. that's gonna you know take a little more time mm -hmm. but yeah so 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 this is Nicole's first time right you've never done yeah this kind of I mean you've done make book, book binding I before. mean I have done very small simple like this threading uh -huh. way of book binding but yeah. those are like a lot smaller and thinner mm -hmm. pieces yeah so I have tried that but never like this glue binding mm. And not to this like thickness either. Mm -mm -mm. Show so. them, show them like how thick your so, book yeah. is. So yeah, it's a bit tacky it's pretty, still. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. Yeah, it is still like quite. Thick. Yeah, and it, it is quite thick a little bit. Uh -huh. but that's okay. But that's fine. Like yeah. it's kind of. It, 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 I like how imperfect it is. <laughs> actually. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna kind of like do a sample first, I guess. Mm. So there's a lot of things that you actually need to prepare. Uh, we need this is all white so but we need two cardboards that's for because we're doing hot cover then we need that to support the um, book the text block yeah, the text block and then after that we need the skin which is gonna be outside I've done a custom painting so oh, wait, that's, that's all. and all you know that this is very reminiscent to the Mosery mm -hmm. sketchbook. I really like that color combo, so that's why I try to recreate this. Uh, and this was on acrylic paper yeah, that acrylic Nicole gave paper. me. Yeah, so this is gonna be my skin, so called. And then after that, you're going to need two pieces of paper, and this is to combine um, the cover and the text block. So. Right now, because I've done the gluing for my text block, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that away first. I'm going to work on the cover, which is basically what takes the most time. Okay, so what's the first thing we need to do? So what we need to do is basically we need to glue it down. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna glue it down. All right, yeah. how about the spine? The spine goes in the middle. Where's my spine? I think it's right. Is it not there? Oh, it's here. Yeah. So, my spine goes right in between these two. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, this was measured according to the size of my text block. Yeah. It is smaller because you need um, size uh, space between this and your block and then also space for the spine to stick out and then yeah so that so that there's more flexibility yeah. for it to bend and open exactly all right so right now we're just gonna glue this down so I should I get my skin yeah too? We'll do this together.
I've glued down the sides. This looks like a mess because, well, um, the Elmer's glue was not really working. So um, we decided to use glue gun for the sides only. And Nicole's right over there gluing down. Hey, what's up? <laughs> gluing down hers. And so basically this is what it looks like so far and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start combining them to That's not the right one. So I have these. These are supposedly here to cover it up and also combine it with the text block so what it's gonna look like it's going to be something like that combined so I'm just gonna show you guys so this is the same size as my text block well, slightly bigger, but that's okay. So I'm going to glue it down. I did it. I did it. You did it? <gasps> wow! Oh my god, I did it! You did oh my god. it! Oh my god, can I? Oh my god! That looks so good! Girl! Whoa! Dude, that's legit. Oh my god, I actually did it! And it actually opens up flat, yo! <laughs> oh my Okay, so, Nicole is still um, gluing. <laughs> <laughs> because hers is bigger yeah. um, but this is what it looks like I am so happy uh, I'm still gonna be doing a little bit of something on the cover but uh, like, I you know for someone who eyeballed this <laughs> that looks so good thank you you know it, it looks it looks good it does Surprisingly, it looks legit. So, um, yeah, there there are some flaws. Obviously, um, this is this is way too um, big compared to the paper. But I think overall, it does look good. I probably could have done a better job with the spine and um, the cutting, but I. You know, this, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm happy. So happy she doesn't know how to say, guys. I know, I know. But yeah, so that's the doodle one, and I'm going to 
do, I'm gonna use this to kind of press it down because right now it's kind of a bit like staying a bit open. So I need a heavy weight to kind of um, push it down for now while I work on the next one, which is this watercolor sketchbook. And I basically wanted to have the same aesthetic overall, so I did a similar cover. Also acrylic paper um, and I just picked a different colour for the bottom as opposed to blue I decided to go for uh, a um, the usual green that you always see on my posts and yeah so I will be gluing this again down again so so Nicole is done she's done gluing it Ooh. it was a struggle Really yeah, it was a struggle, but I think it looks pretty dang nice. Yeah, I would say, right? So happy with the choice of skin. Yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of nice. Like it's quite tight mm. on like outside. Mm. But yeah, so mental note for the next time I try to attempt this, and maybe for you guys too. Too close. Too close. Like if you want to do like when you leave a border to wrap around your your hardcover book, you might want to leave like quite a good, a generous space. So originally this was meant to be 0 0.5 centimeters, but I think next time I'm going to do a whole centimeter. Because the... Yeah, because my skin is actually quite thick, so it's not as flexible. Mm. So yeah, so just mental note. So yeah, yeah, let's move on to the next thing for me. So you are going to be adding the finalizing basically, mm -hmm. adding the text block onto this. Yeah. So what I did was, so give me that, stick this side first, stick them down, leave a little bit, or like just a little bit, a centimeter, and then after that you... So I stick this yeah, to stick the this. front? Yeah. Okay. And then after that, once you um, you stick that down, you stand it up. Make sure this meets the edge. Oh, I see. Okay.
Okay, so we are done. Ah, finally! Let's first look at Nicole's one. So mine's pretty standard looking. Like I said, I like my sketchbooks to have a very clean, uniform look because I get really messy inside, so I want the outside to be really clean. Like my personality. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, for my first try, I'm actually really like pretty chuffed with this. It's actually, it actually looks good. Yeah, like it actually kind of looks like pretty legit. Yeah, it does. Until you open it. <laughs> I mean, okay. okay. So let's just take a look. So my, like I've mentioned earlier, my problem was that because I didn't take into account of how not flexible my skin was. So like the edges folding out here is too small. So originally this is 0.5, so maybe in my next sketchbook, if I'm using the same skin or something similar of thickness, I would use like a one centimeter edge, just so that it can stick properly. So that's why I won't have these glue, hot glue bits sticking out, and also I'll be able to conceal it with this with the drawing paper a lot better. So that's my main issue. But otherwise, like the paper itself is like. Not too bad. Yay! Now Luna's turn. Well, my one actually turned out surprisingly really well. Yeah, it looks so good. <laughs> well, um, the two moons I'll probably repaint when I get home because right now we're not, you know, we're outside. So, um, yeah. But besides that, I think it turned out quite nicely. I feel like maybe I could have blended these better. No. I think it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. No, I don't think it's a big deal, to be honest. And like I, like I said, I feel like a lot of like DIY, the charm of DIY like book binding is like the little the little things like mm. these gradations or like my my janky <laughs> <laughs> my janky glue. <laughs> I think yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I think this time round I did a little bit more planning yeah. um, so, so I was clean. able to well thank you I was able to uh, finish it better than my first attempt my first attempt I didn't even have this paper right here and I just like stuck the body onto the like the cover onto the body and then it just fell apart yeah yeah so this is very you know crucial yeah. but yeah again it, it lays very flat um, pretty sturdy Mm. Right? Yeah, um, it is. And this one also, uh, I think this one was a little bit more successful in a sense that um, I wasn't struggling as much with the cover mm. as I did with this one because this was the one, the first one that I did. Yeah. And then after that, I did this one. So. But I mean, they both turned out really well. Oh, I thank think. you. Yeah. So. Yeah. There it is. So would you do this again? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, like. I mean, let's talk a little bit about like why we even did this. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did not get yeah. to say why. So for me, um, especially because I'm like very aesthetic person. You, you, like you know me, I I love everything in pastel and everything mm -hmm. and all that. Um, the thing with the sketchbooks that are available for us, they're not aesthetically pleasing to me. Or if they are. Either A, they're too expensive, or B, the paper quality is not what I want. Yeah. And so this way, making my own sketchbook, at least I get to kind of control what kind of paper I want. Yeah. Um, you know, I get to customize the size. Like yeah. yours, I really like your size. Oh, I you. absolutely would totally do one that's this size because, as you know, I always. I've always done things in the, these like yeah. really tiny sizes and yeah. I feel like perhaps it's time for me to move mm. to a bigger um, space and I really I really do like this yeah, thank this you. format. In, in three steps you will. So just yeah. a note for you guys, this is actually a 4 to 5 ratio of sizing so it's not a typical A4 size. Mm. So the reason why I chose this size is because what I whatever I plan to do inside this sketchbook I do plan to put it up on my Instagram and this is the ratio of the Instagram aside mm. from the square size so I feel like 
this is just makes things easier for me. Mm. That and also I really like the wide space. I feel like the, a lot of the drawings I do kind of accommodates more to wide spaces. Mm. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I certainly did. Yeah, and so did I. Yeah. Like, thank you so much for having me oh, again. Oh no, no, no. I love having you here. And hopefully we'll see each other again very soon. I mm -hmm. mean, in this channel we see each other all the time. But <laughs> yeah, um, hopefully I'll be able to help you here again yeah and we'll be able to do more stuff together and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys soon bye, bye. <laughs>